today we're talking about risk. How do you handle it, and how could it be easier for you? You mean the board game? Yes, of course. I'm Reed Mahalka from ReadAboutSex.com. I'm Kathy Virtually from TheIntimacyDojo.com. I'm taken by your face that you just made that you did not mean, mean risk the board game. I did not mean risk the board game. How dare you lie to me? You took a risk. <laughs> I did. All right, what are you talking about? So you often talk, and I love that you talk about this so clearly, you talk about walking towards the gun and saying what's not been said and, and dealing with the awkward, mm -hmm. um, embracing the awkward. And all of those things involve risk. I'm exposing myself. I'm being vulnerable. People might judge me. They might reject me. There's all kinds of stuff going on. So how can I deal with risk and how can I make it easier for myself to experience risk in a way that isn't so painful? And the first thing I really, I didn't get this for a long time and I just, I want to share is that not everybody deals with risk the same way. What? Not everybody feels it the same way. What? And I would look at people taking risks and I'm like, why can't I do that? I tend to be shy. I tend to be a little more conservative about my stuff. Mm. And I couldn't figure out why I wasn't as brave as those other people. And so I shame myself a lot. Mm -hmm. And once I realized that we're all wired a little bit differently around different risks mm -hmm. and different situations, it gave me a lot of peace. Like, oh, okay, I do not want to jump out of a plane. It does not sound fun to me. The plane is flying perfectly well. Let's stay in it. Other people love jumping out of planes. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of cool. Okay. And it gave me some peace. And how did, like, gave you peace how? Like, you just, you were allowed to not shame yourself? Yeah, I wasn't beating myself up and saying I should take more risks. And that gave me permission to decide when to take risks. Got it. Rather than I should be taking all the risks. Okay. And there, or there's something, I'm not courageous, I'm not cool. So. Did you want me to share? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, so, risks. Yeah, that's right. Risky oh. things. Uh, we each just wrote an article about risk. Yeah. Do you want me to talk about the article? If you'd like. No, I don't know if I want to. Okay. I'm going to take a risk. Um, my big thing is that understanding that you can train yourself to take baby steps and then learn how to kind of repattern what risk and fear means to you and just the emotional and, and how it feels physically. And understanding with some positive reinforcement when you take baby steps, surround yourself with good people who will cheer you on rather than poo-pooing on you for wanting to take risks. Um, and having some good like kind of risk taking baby step tools, you can start to become more comfortable with being uncomfortable. You build the muscle of it. Yeah. And that's pretty much the whole concept of walking towards the gun, which is like when you realize what you're afraid of, start moving towards it. It's a much more productive way of growing and and stepping outside of your comfort zones, which like we were talking about in, in the articles that we wrote that those comfort zones, like that's where the magic happens is when you step outside. Yeah. You know, and like the, the butterfly, if it never came out of, of the cocoon, would never know flying. Yeah. And you're constantly growing and changing and you having a different relationship to fear and to anxiety, and not like anxiety with a capital A, um, but just like the, ah, um, that will start to change how you are in the world and most people look at that kind of being bold and courageous as inspiring. Yeah. So people actually start to change how they see you in the world too. Yeah. And I love changing anxiety from fearful to thrilling. That's, mm -hmm. that's really cool. And one thing that I've really, I've read it a little bit before, but I've just experienced it a lot lately, is when my tank is full, like I have my, I've got enough sleep, I'm getting some emotional support, I've had enough food. The just basic things that I need to survive well in the world, when I have those things, risk seems less scary to me. Mm -hmm. So there's, I'm still not going to want to jump from an airplane, but going up and talking to someone when I'm feeling really tired and hungry and I'm thinking I might smell because I didn't shower in 24 hours and well, all the stuff that's going on in your head. The stakes feel a lot higher. Yeah. And that's, that's really, the, our survival brain is like, we don't have enough, enough energy to go attack that tiger. We need to go back to the cave. Or maybe it's a cougar. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you for that. You're welcome. No problem. We'd love to know what you think. What do you do to help yourself be armored up for taking risks and being more thrilled by what you're experiencing? And if you like to learn by reading, we'll throw the links into those risk articles for your perusal. Yes. Leave your comments. Thank you for watching.